It's Friday afternoon, the 4th of February, and I want to recap my two swing trades that I made this week. One of them was on Nvidia, and the other one was Netflix. You can see on both trades I made over 1% on them, so you can tell I'm having a good week. So let me show you guys how I found these swing trades. Alright, well, feels good to be back after about a month of no trading. Unfortunately, the month of January was pretty bad for the market, but now things are starting to look like they're turning around. So before I break down both of these swing trades, I do want to let you guys know that I did recommend both Nvidia and Netflix for a swing trade before I made them those afternoons. So if you guys want to learn how to swing trade and also get my swing trade picks, Make sure you check out my swing trading tutorial at the end of this video and also see how you guys can get on the discord at the end of this video as well. But first, let's break down these swing trades. So first I want to break down the Nvidia swing trade. This one was made on Monday and the entry was right before the close here on the 31st of January, Monday. And if we look at that day on the minute chart, you can see that the entry here was right around 244.83 and my exit, I decided not to risk the overnight movement and just to get out in the aftermarket right around the limit of the ability to sell in the aftermarket, which was close to 8 p.m. Um, Nvidia got to about 1.2% and I decided just to take that. I didn't want to risk it uh, going down lower the next day and because I already had my daily goal of 1%, I decided it's a good time to take it and sleep easy. So my exit gave me around 1.2%, pretty good in profit. You can see it was around $2,500. I was pretty heavy in volume in that stock and you can see I left a little bit in there just in case it did go up the next day and I pretty much sold it at that same price, giving me that $2,500. So yeah, pretty good with Nvidia. And if we look at the daily, the reason I made this swing trade, it's not too hard to see here. Nvidia had been on this big downtrend and Every time I had this green daily, yes, you might see a few decent gaps, but a lot of times it gapped down, not up. So because I saw this downtrend on Nvidia, I decided to wait a little bit. And finally, we saw this um, support here where the Nvidia wasn't going any lower. And we also saw Nvidia start to gap again off of a green daily. And after seeing these two signals, I decided to take that risk and try Nvidia off this second green daily and hoping that it would continue the pattern of gapping, which it did. So that ended up going really well. Pretty happy with that Nvidia swing trade. The next swing trade I made was in Netflix that following day, Tuesday, 1st of February here. Decided to play this gapping pattern on Netflix. And if we look at the minute chart on that day, see that my entry was right before the close here. There's a little bit of a sell off and I got a pretty decent price, 457.5 about. And my exit, I decided to do the same thing and get out in the aftermarket because I was already up my daily goal. I got out at around 1.1% at this 62.5 mark, 462.5 mark, and did pretty well. Couldn't have done much better with this swing trade. You can see it didn't go higher. It actually went lower and that following morning it actually opened negative. So pretty happy with this swing trade. And uh, yeah, pretty good. You can see the results here were $1,300 on this swing trade. I did decide to go smaller volume on this trade. I was less confident because of how the market was looking and also I just didn't want to risk losing this big chunk of profit I got from my previous trade. So if you look here at the yearly chart, why I thought this was a good swing trade, few things. So Netflix has been on this big sell off. So it hasn't really been a good stock to play, at least in the bullish side. But because we had this really big sell off after this last earnings and there was this news of uh, it being bought by these big hedge funds um, and we saw this gapping pattern starting to reoccur again on Netflix, this red, this green daily was failing, but then we see it gap a little bit here and then we definitely see it gap this following one. So after seeing two decent green dailies, we decided to play this third one and all us traders did pretty well getting out on Netflix this aftermarket. So that's how both of these swing trades went. 
So if you guys want to learn how to swing trade and learn the swing trading strategy we use, check out the swing trading tutorial at the end of this video. Also, if you guys want to get the swing trade picks that we post on our Discord, make sure you join our Discord server Sleep Easy Trades. Here's where I share my top 3 swing trade picks 15 minutes before the market closes. You can also ask us any questions about swing trading on here. You can find the Discord server link in the description below.